In this video, we're going to be talking about storage. Storage in your computer is very important because this is where your operating system lays. The operating system is very important because that's how your entire computer runs. So we're going to get into storage, the different kinds of storage, what's the best, what's not the best, what's the slowest, what's the fastest, and what they're normally used for in different kinds of computers. So let's hop right into it. This is a hard drive. Hard drives are pretty old and you can tell right here is there's a disc in here that has a little needle that writes things on it. This is the oldest form of storage that we have and it takes the longest and it's normally the slowest of all storage devices. A hard drive, also known as the HDD, is what would normally go inside of a PC and it can hold large amounts of storage. And because it is the oldest, it, it's pretty cheap to find. You can buy about 16 gigabytes of this uh, for about 100 bucks, which will be hold, able to hold a lot, but it's slower. So it's just advised to be used more so of a backup unit rather than your main source of storage. These are normally a bit heavier as well, and you can tell it's pretty bulky. But that's what an HDD is, a hard, a hard disk drive. These are both forms of SSDs. An SSD is a solid state drive. Every SSD has flash, flash drives or flash chips that are built into them. So these are much, much faster than an HDD will ever be. It keeps its memory on flash and there's different types. You can tell that this is a SATA, six gigabytes per second, and this is 250 gigabytes. Of course, there's many different ones of these that hold different capacities of information. But SSDs are pretty fast and they're awesome. This is definitely recommended for gaming because it's much faster and it works much better in systems like that. And this is an NVMe. In NVMe, there's 1.0 and 2.0 are with normally the smallest and also the fastest forms of storage to date. These are normally used in laptops and they're due to their size, they are able to sneak in just about anywhere drives are made by Apple and they're a mix of HDD and SSD. It's kind of a mix between the mechanical and the flash. They're in the middle between the HDD and the SSD category, but I would recommend an SSD if you're able to get one. They're much faster and they just work flat out much better. But again, please don't load those to the max capacity because again, they run off flash memory and sometimes they need to have space allocated only to them. And if you load it up too much, it's going to crash. It is highly advised that you keep a backup on some form of storage <laughs> that you can keep by yourself. Having your backup on a cloud service is a great idea, but also having a backup with you is even a better idea. A lot of times those servers have issues and if your data is lost, you're not, you're signing on the terms and agreements that, hey, I'm okay if my data gets lost in your services. A lot of these are under the sea, and if something were to happen, you could lose all your data that's lost, on, that's uploaded to the cloud. It's always a good idea to keep some form of a storage unit to have all of your data on, just in case. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on storage, and have a great day.